Welcome back to Sculpey Creations. I'm Kathy Fillion. And I'm Steve Piacenza. And today we're going to show you how to make sliced agate geodes using Sculpey 3. We're also going to teach you how to create custom colors by blending. We're going to be using one color and one pearl, and that will create this cool variegated look. We're also going to show you how to create your own glitter Sculpey using translucent Sculpey 3. We're using violet, pearl, jewelry gold, and translucent Sculpey 3. First, use the clay conditioner to prep your clay. If you don't have one, you can always hand knead your clay. To create the agate center, I'm using a large pinch of translucent and a small pinch of pearl. Next, I'm adding white ultrafine glitter to the translucent clay. Once my glitter and clay are blended, I'm adding a pinch of pearl to create streaks in the finished agate. Now we are ready to blend our violet and pearl clay to create several shades of violet. Make one ball of violet, blend a small amount of pearl to violet to make a lighter shade. Keep blending until you have five shades. For our glitter layers, I'm using a combination of ultrafine and chunky glitter. Roll out four small pieces of translucent Sculpey 3. Add glitter and knead. We're using a selection of purple, pink, and gold glitter to match our violet clay. Create your agate pattern. Begin with the center tube. Each ball will be an agate layer. Start with a solid one and use the glitter clay in between the solid colors. Roll each layer as thin as possible. Trim the ends to fit the tube. Roll around the center tube. Try not to overlap and seal the seam with your fingers. Repeat with all your layers, ending with gold. Slice down the center with a super slicer. Continue slicing from the center out to create discs. Use the acrylic roller to roll out the discs. Use the etch and pearl tool to carve out an organic shaped hole in the center. Use the pointed end to create notched marks around the outer edge. 
Use the concave end to create indentations. In the center, create an organic, jagged edge. Roll the slice to smooth. If you want to create a hole, use a needle pointer tool to pierce a hole prior to baking. Bake at 275 Fahrenheit or 130 Celsius, 15 minutes per quarter inch thickness. So these geodes are so easy to make and my favorite thing is that each one turns out a little bit different. Yeah, so it's very cool. organic. And we wanted to share with you some of the things that we made, some of our finished designs using the sliced agates. Yeah, now this is a small portion of what you can actually do with these. <laughs> Exactly. You know. uh, let me show you. We made a coaster. Now you can do a set of coasters. You put little those little bubble feet on the back. And look at this. Great coaster. Great gift. Oh, this would be... You could make a whole set of these. A whole set of them. We also put them on a, like a shadow box frame, which is really pretty. A piece of artwork. Cute home decor. Cute home decor. This is one of my favorites. Very simple. You can put magnets right on the back. We just glued them on the back here. These can go on your fridge, put them in your office, or wherever you'd like. And another little home decor is we did the geo right on top of a piece of wood, added a hook. This could be a dog leash, it could be for coats, it could be for keys, whatever you want. It's a great way to add, like polymer clay, I think a lot of times you don't think of it as home decor, yeah. but there are so many different home decor things you can make with it. Now, I also love it for fashion because, I don't know, Steve knows I not? love fashion <laughs> and jewelry making. So on this one, I just made this oversized pendant and then strung it up on some turquoise just to make a really cool pendant like that. You can also do um, same type of idea, but I did it here on a purse, just a little wristlet. It's a great little designer accent. And I love how the bracelet turned out. This is just a wrap bracelet. I glued it right to the metal piece that came on there. And again, you can make these in so many sizes. So if you wanted to do small ones for earrings, no problem, bracelet size, big ones like on your hook. And for home decor, I think they're really cute, just attached to a great. vase. You can just make a small one, do a little candle holder like this, or just like on this bigger one, a vase. Put some but, flowers in that one. Yeah, exactly. Beautiful. So now that you've got all these ideas of things you can make. Mm -hmm. But you know what else? This one. Oh, this is my favorite. This is, the favorite. <laughs> I totally this is one that took favorite. the longest, and you're forgetting about it. I forgot my very favorite one. This yeah. is our wall hanging. Beautiful. And it's such a fun, all these different geodes, all different sizes, all different shapes, and the color palette I think is really cool. You could hang this in a window or on a wall or you know anywhere that you wanted to add a little pop of color. Thanks for joining us today. We hope we've inspired you to create some agate slices. If you want to see more projects like this, be sure to give us a thumbs up, share, like, and subscribe, and make sure you follow Sculpey.com on all their social channels. Well, we have a few more to make. Uh, yeah, I've got a few more in me. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. See you next time. This one turned out good. Oh, I love this colors. <laughs> <laughs>